Okay, so once again, I asked my small audience to be incredibly patient because my ideas are unusual, but at some point they will be embraced by the mainstream and they will be used. It's just going to take a little bit of time. So if we could all be patient, I'm reasonably sure my terms will be used. I've already talked about how single phase service should be called single cycle. And I use a cycle graph to show that. You could call it a revolution graph because this depicts one revolution of a generator. Okay, we talked about that. Now I'd like to talk about why the term neutral is used or why it shouldn't be used, okay? So the National Electrical Code people have code-making panels, and panel number five came up with a definition, and I will read it to you. Neutral. The conductor connected to the neutral point of a system that is intended to carry current under normal conditions. Now you see they use the word neutral in the definition to define neutral. Well, that's what we call reflexive or circular. It doesn't give you an absolutely clear or concise definition because you're, you're using the term to define itself. And I don't think that's satisfactory. So electricians know what it means, but for the general populace, it's not really so good. So let's look at the definition for the word neutral outside of the electrical industry, okay? So here's some definitions of or relating to a neutral state of power. Okay, well there, that's reflexive also, it's circular. Of or relating to a neutral state of power. It tells you nothing about the neutral. Another definition is not electrically charged. Well, in many cases, the neutral aspect of your system is charged. Uh, another definition is lacking power to move, but it gets its power at the transformer outside your home, up on the pole. That's where it does actually get power. Another definition is indeterminate. Well, when you have the neutral carrying a share of the load in your circuit, if it's unbalanced, the neutral's share that it's carrying is determinate. It can be measured with a clamp-on meter. You can clamp around the wire and you can tell how many amps are going through that wire. So it's not always indeterminate. <clears throat> Another definition is deficient, deficient in active properties. Well, that's only if there's an open circuit. The circuit's open and there's no juice, no live current flowing through the whole system. So these are some definitions outside the field of electricity, outside the profession of electricity. And four of the definitions fail to help us, and one is suspect. So you see, even going through these definitions, we're still not happy. All right, so neutral, all right, is it an accurate, useful term? Not really. The, you saw the non-NEC definitions fail. You saw that. The term neutral tells us nothing logical. It doesn't tell us anything. Okay, the word neutral is good for theory. It's in almost every book in every classroom. But in practice, it still doesn't tell you anything. You just know from from schooling, training, your profession, that it's neutral. And, and you know the name of the thing and you can see the white wire or the gray wire. And that's all you know about neutral, the concept. Okay, on the transformer where you get your neutral, okay, it's called the center tap. The center tap is not neutral. It's not a neutral tap, it's a center tap, center of a coil. The center tap does carry a charge. It's not energetically neutral. The center tap does not guarantee any sort of neutral quality. It just doesn't. And also, this is important, when you see zero volts marked on a cycle graph, 
if you have some kind of cycle graph or some kind of picture of a transformer, and, and whenever you see a zero, the zero does not equate to the center tap value. You have to look at diagrams to understand that. But that zero, as it relates to the word neutral, generally doesn't tell you anything. Now, finally, this is very important. The neutral conductor, the neutral part of your system is a complement. And I got this idea from my grammar studies. I have many, many grammar videos and I have new ideas that are, that are really, really good. And when I was working on the electricity stuff, the idea of a complement came into my mind and it said, well, you have an aspect of that in electricity. So hold on to that thought. The neutral is a complement. So, so when you when you use the the phrase neutral complement, it doesn't make any sense. If it's a complement, the word neutral doesn't sound right. So let's look at the neutral as a complement to your AC current flow. Okay. The neutral as a complement, okay? As a complement, the neutral will complete. That's what the word complement means. It will complete whatever needs to be completed. If a load is unbalanced, the neutral is available and the unbalanced amperage will take that route. It'll take that conductor, okay? It's a complement. But what qualities, what exact qualities does the neutral conductor exhibit? What's going on in there? Without getting crazy and, and doing scientific stuff like you see on the internet, okay? Neither the neutral branch circuit conductors, that's, that's the conductors that come off of your, your circuit breakers in your panel, okay? Neither the neutral branch circuit conductors nor the neutral bus bar in your panel, that big neutral bar in there, neither carry a current or present a voltage unless the current or voltage is affected at the point of a load. In other words, you say, well, what's the quality of the neutral? What is it doing? What does it mean? It means nothing until you put a load on it. If you don't put a load on it, like a light bulb, a toaster, a, a, a hair dryer, nothing's going on. The word neutral m means nothing. The neutral service conductor, all right, that's the main neutral wire comes off the transformer in the sky, comes down into your house, into your panel. The neutral service conductor does not carry a current or present a voltage unless an unbalanced current load is affected through loads employing both power bus bars. In other words, you have to be using both power bars in your panel. That's like your excuse me, black and red conductors. They come in there and then they extend on, on the power bars. Okay? But unless an unbalanced current load is passing through that setup, all right? The neutral service, the main neutral conductor, isn't gonna show anything. There's not gonna be anything going on. So you see the word neutral to this point is vague and doesn't really tell you much. It's a really crappy word. Now, before I wrap it up here, I have to tell you again, I'm not an electrician, I'm not a professional, I'm not anything. I barely made it through high school. All I'm telling you is ideas that I got from trying to use common sense. Uh, years ago, when I was a complete idiot, I, my wife, second wife taught me to pick up books and read them. And I read almost everything, like hundreds of books. And I, and I saw that in many different professions, there's terminology used it's not so good and not very accurate. So I started to try to clean it up a little bit. It's just a good 
good thing for the mind to to learn new things and and read because then you they say it's you're less likely to get dementia and brain rot and all that modern stuff that they have all that stuff out there so i'm not telling you how to wire your home and i'm not telling you how to do electrical work i'm telling you about ideas and terms that's it okay that's my big disclaimer so what do we call this conductor that starts at the transformer basically for, for our purposes and it goes in the air up there on that, on that cable and it comes down and into your panel and it goes all around your house well i thought about it and i decided that the term median is better median it's something to at least consider why because median means situated in the middle or in an intermediate position and where does the median start for the normal person in a normal domestic situation? At the transformer up on the pole. Situated in the middle of the coil, right in the middle. All right, that's where it starts. There's no word neutral here because neutral means nothing. At least you have something that means something. It's in the middle. It's in the middle of the coil, in the middle of that transformer configuration that provides you with good balanced power all right another definition denoting or relating to a value or quantity at the midpoint of a frequency distribution of observed values or quantities such that there is an equal possibility of falling above or below it now i put the word possibility in the original word in the definition was probability, but if you change one word here, possibility, in that definition, it will work. It will make sense where neutral doesn't make any sense. Now, the benefits of median, the term. Median at least gives us a sense of position or location. We at least start off with something. Two. The value of the median is never greater than the value of either live power leg. In other words, power bus A or B in your panel. That's where the big black or the big red cable comes in or conductor, okay? So the third thing then is the median is a complement. I stress that. The median is a complement to the system. You need it if you ever want to have any unbalanced loads or you ever want to have circuits that use 120 volts. That's for your smaller, less demanding devices and products, okay? The median is a complement. Median and complement, the terms do not conflict. Neutral and complement do conflict. The terms neutral and complement really don't go together. It just doesn't make any sense. And if you say, well, what about normal regular life? And what about, what did nature give us? Well, nature put those two letters, median and neutral, right in the middle in the median of the alphabet that we use here in America. It's right in the middle. So you can choose, you can take neutral, but I choose median. It just makes more sense. And if you submit something to the National Electrical Code people, which, which I could do and I'm not going to because I would like these ideas that I'm presenting in these few videos to be presented by a professional electrician. Uh, I mean, a, a, a guy that really knows what the hell he's doing. And then he'll have more credibility. You say, well, this guy on the internet, Joey, he's a dummy. He barely made it through high school. So they'll listen to somebody with a, a license, a certification, a degree. They'll listen to him. So here you have off the center tap, you have your median. You could call it a compliment if you want to, but either way, it is better than neutral. All right. I know that took a while, but that's important. So we went from single cycle. It's not, not single phase, it's single cycle. We have our cycle graph, which shows one revolution of the generator. That's important because if you start with this base, 
the space in your theory, you can easily see why we move from my new terms from one to another. And in my next video, I'm excited because we're going to get to the really good stuff. The so-called three-phase service. That's a crappy name. Anyway, thanks for being patient and good night.